Jackie, you've ruined my fucking night. <laughs> no, 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 we're not. No, I would. <laughs> Seeing who's going to break first, I break first. <laughs> no, when I went, wasn't sure what we were doing there. I was testing you. I was like that. Waiting, who's going to break the silence? Yeah. Uh, Happy Wednesday, woo! folks. Woo when I was on the toilet, I thought of a really good game. Go on then. Um, that would increase our, help our telepathy, telepa telepathy? Telepathy. Telepathy skills. Okay. So... I'm going to think of a song. I'm going to send it to you. Okay. And then I'm going to go three, two, one. Okay. And we sing at the same time. Okay. Do I get any clue about what the song's going to be? Not at all. It's all about testing. Okay. The telepathy. Tele telepathy. Tele -l 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 -l. Okay. I was singing it on the, tw I was humming it. I I've not sung it today. I've not oh. sung it this year. I've not sung what? it in the past three years. <laughs> all I've got in my head is the songs from this morning. No, none of those. This is You've pure. not sung it in the past three years. No. And I'm supposed to this guess it. This is very it. niche. We would never sit and listen to this. <laughs> what? Ever. <gasps> you would only hear this song on a, on a random TikTok. Right. Where something specific is happening. Right. So I'm sending it to you. Maybe I'll dance to it. Send it better. Send it more. <laughs> You, you'll, pro you'll pick it up as soon as I get it, but let's see if you can get it and then you can test My me. mind is totally blank. <laughs> but, what do you expect from me? But I think when I start, <laughs> okay, okay. you know, you'll get right into okay. it. Three, two, two one. What, it's one. a beautiful night. We're looking <laughs> for something. <laughs> to do. Hey, baby. I think, think I, I want to marry you. you. Okay, nice. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I've not heard that in a long while, I've but I sat on the toilet and I just went, it's a beautiful Who night. remembers Bruno Mars? I catch a grenade, grenade for you. Oh. That was a brilliant song. <gasps> it was fantastic. And have you seen his Cuban heels that he wears? Yeah. Because he yeah. needs the height. Mm. Mm. There's nothing wrong with a small man. Nothing wrong with that. Not at all. My dad is very small. Tiny. Smaller than me. Mm. Say it all the time. It's nothing mm. wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. No, nothing we wrong support. with it. We support. He's, yeah, absolutely. Welcome back. Absolutely. Welcome back to the pod. Absolutely. Um, almost February, folks. Absolutely. It's, it's, we're really coming up proud to V-Day. We're coming up to V-Day. It's on the horizon, isn't it? <sighs> I'm really happy about that. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. I'm really happy to be, yeah, getting in the swing of things. Any Valentine's Day plans? <laughs> Not as of yet, Sophia. <laughs> Not as of yet. Just our plans next week. Yeah. Oh, I'm very excited. But about I that. am excited to get a uh, V Day nail, nail set. I'm thinking next week, first week of Feb, gonna get the hearts on. Mm. What are you thinking? What am I thinking? Good Give question. The people some inspo. Good question. Well, my classic before that I did always love. I love a French with the heart. I was just about to say the white French few red hearts gorgeous because it lasts you the month yeah you don't get sick of it yeah it's not too not like, too in your face no but it's just like subtle and it's the red and white it goes with everything like i do think a red nail goes with truly everything it does so yeah maybe French that and red i think will I, never I, go I, I wrong i would love to see a um a design on yourself <laughs> <laughs> the design girl lives so far away. I know, but I'm sure your lady could do a, a, a red heart. I don't know if she could. A red heart is very simple. It's line, line. I'm filling the gaps. Yeah, I'm fi it's not even yeah. that. They're so small. It's 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 a flick, a flick. You're right. Like it's it's literally a little triangle. But it's such a risk asking for a design from someone who's not a design artist. Well, what you could maybe ask for is just okay. So you get French. You get one red heart in the middle finger. One. But if she does a good job, I'll say, I'll pop a few more on. Yeah, because I'm sorry, she's got the precision to do a French. She she's has got the, the skill. precision to do um, mm. a heart for sure. Wish and me luck then, Cherries I guess. is cute. I love a cherry. Love the cherries. Cherry is also easy for someone who's not so skilled. Dot, mm. dot, I nine, mean, we nine. used to do nail art. We were very skilled. We absolutely skilled. did. We absolutely did. <laughs> yeah, we absolutely did. <laughs> and we had none of these tiny brushes. Not at all. We were working with all the big by fat hand. hand. Yeah. Because we've got a steady hand. Mm. Look at that steadiness. Look at, whoa. <laughs> Sophia didn't move. Oh. <laughs> I was a little bit shaky there. 
it's actually really hard. It's actually really hard. It's moving on. You know what it is, is when I go to my nail girl and I've been sat there for two hours, mm. right? And then she's like, let me get a few pics. Oh, few I, pics. I can't. My and, fingers aren't loose. And she positions my fingers. They are twitching. I'm like this. <laughs> she like places them. And then them. she tries to hold them together. And I'm like, mm. I'm like does twitching that look good? out of place. My fucking wrist hurt. So it's like a whole thing. It's like my nails get camera shy. Yeah. I can't, I can't relax no. them in a nice spot. No, not at all. But um, hairdressers must have the steadiest of the hands. Oh God, yeah. Can't. It, and the brain surgeons. <sighs> they do. All surgeons as a matter of fact. <laughs> yeah. The Derek Shepherds of the world. Yeah, and uh, dentists. Okay, right, should we do question of the week? Absolutely. Question of the week. We had a dilemma about this a couple of weeks ago and we said we would ask it as a question. Yep. So we're sticking to our word and we're following through. As we always do. Simple question. Do you delete pics of mm. you and your ex or you know your ex mm. off of your camera roll after a breakup? Mm -hmm. We've got immediately yes or no, I hold on to them. I feel like it's going to be a 60-40 situation. 60 going to deleting, 40 going to... I'm not that bothered. I'm just going to hold on to them. Let me know. Correct. Fuck off. Fuck it. I had to figure it out. Got it. 57% are saying immediately, yes, they're Big gone. Bang. I can't look at them anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 43 saying, no, I hold on to them. Yeah, 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 yeah. What We're going to go into fear? the DMs. <sighs> am I deleting or am I holding on to them? I can't really remember. Yeah, you can't remember, yeah. Probably a bit of both. Like yeah. if I see one, I'm like, oh, I'll Ooh. delete that. But if they're way back in the, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, um, I guess I'm not scrolling to the top of the camera no, roll regularly. and doing a big clear out. No. But if it was a fresh breakup and maybe like there were some pictures that, the yeah. thing, is, thing is, I think we take so many pictures every single day. My camera it. roll changes every single day. Yeah, we do. Whereas if I didn't. If it was a stagnant camera roll. Then I probably would go back mm. and delete. Off the back of a holiday with yeah. said X. Yeah, I'd go select all. <laughs> Yeah, but it's nice to keep one a few, one or two. You think? To show the kids. You think? Yes, I guess for back for in the day. Yeah, to have like a memory yeah. box. Yeah, my tactic seems to be get a new phone. <laughs> Easily solved. No iCloud. No iCloud, fresh start, zero pics, mm. fresh WhatsApp. Yeah, I delete the messages. Delete, yeah, but, but yeah, if I saw one, I would. If I, do you know what? Yeah, I would delete them, but then if... If there's one that pops up, I'm not going to be super surprised. Mm. Someone said, I think you can hold on to them until you're ready and, um, to let them go and have yeah. moved on. Yeah. Um, I put them in the hidden folder. Oh, yes. That's a good yes. idea. And we'll delete them gradually when I feel ready. But I don't think you have to delete every single one. They will always be a part of your life. I yeah. guess it also depends on the circumstances of the breakup. Yeah. It's a very good answer. Yep. Yeah. It does. I think if there's this anger is me. Involved, this is she. This girl has encompassed what I was trying to get at. Yeah. I wouldn't say I hold on to them. I just can't be asked to delete. Can't them. be asked. Yeah. But also, yeah. it's like I don't want to like sit there for twenty minutes looking at your face. No, again. exactly. Do you know what I mean? That's what it is. I just fill up my camera roll with something else. Yeah. So it's like if it pops up, then absolutely I'm going to delete it. But. I'm not going to go out of my way for half an hour of my life. I was with my ex for four and a half years. There are over 10,000 photos on my camera roll from that period. Blah. I can't bring yeah. myself to delete that many photos and memories, but mm. I also don't want them on my new phone. Yeah. So I've created a new Apple ID, signed out of the old one. Old pics are that's saved nice. in the old iCloud. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. See, this is why it was kind of good. Because on the old phone, if you feel like it. Think of our mums back in the day. They would only have printouts. printouts and they could burn them, rip them, shred them, and maybe the just keep one, cut out, One cut of my them favorite out. activities was shredding stuff. Yeah, I used to love that. Sit there with the shredder and then it'd mm. get clogged. <laughs> put, put like five pieces of paper through the yeah. shredder, try and really push it to the limit. <laughs> and it will literally get clogged. But yeah, yeah, printouts, yeah. Mm. Or, or it'd be framed stuff. Yeah. So we're, we're deframing. Gotta go. Right? We're deframing. Yeah, so I think we're all kind of, 50-50. I guess the reason, the, the, the dilemma that we had was it, the girl, the new girlfriend felt a type of way that her boyfriend hadn't deleted the photos. Yes. It was sending her into overdrive. But I guess yes. from this, we know that it's actually not that deep if you don't yeah. if you don't delete the I photos. Think, it's, it doesn't mean I'm still in love with you if I've got a picture of you on my camera roll. Exactly. I think that's it. 
I think that's exactly it. That's what we've learned. Like I could be um, triggered by, you know, my new rendezvous, mm. having pictures of said ex, but then I- You're probably just I, as I guilty. I can't talk. Yeah. But as long as you're not reminiscing on, on the day to day. It's just those Apple memories, isn't it? But I know. Well, well, God, yeah. God, what's that feature well, I all about? I turned that off. I, I got rid of that widget. That feature sabotaging us, ruin all of our yeah, days. I got w- rid of that widget and I replaced them with Pinterest ones. It's lovely. Much better I've got, life. I've got three Pinterest widgets on both of my homepages. It's so nice. Take a leaf out of Chintzy's book. It's folks. lovely. Just be- I wake up and there's just beautiful images I get to consume. <laughs> okay, sorry. Speaking before- <laughs> of nail shops then, eh? Yeah, speaking of nails, Valentine's nails before we start. <laughs> some of you have sent us an email um, and you said, 50-year-old lady sexting in the nail shop. They've just sent us a funny story, so we had to read it. Hey, ladies, me and my bestie are writing in, so. It's nice to know we're, you're, just we're a funny still going to have it, though, at this age. Yeah. Still got that libido. Just a funny story we, we wanted to share. So I was getting my nails done and this woman came and sat next to me. I'd say she's probably in her late 40s, early 50s. Anyway, the whole time she was getting her nails done, she was on her phone. And being the nosy person I am, of course I was reading her texts. <laughs> on the low key, thinking it would be something really mundane. But no, this middle-aged lady was sexting her husband. Wow. You may have to bleep this out, but she was saying how incredible her nails were going to look wrapped around... <laughs> I won't finish the end of the sentence. His how genitals. Ex- how excited he was to, oh, I can't say that. And how he was going to bend her over the, oh, when she gets home. She kept replying saying, oh God, you better do exactly that. The worst part is her brightness was on full. And like my mum, her text was on max size and so she could read it properly. Slay, this middle-aged woman is getting some action, but oh Love my God, I couldn't it. believe how bold this was from her. The convo went on for ages. It's not even like she's trying to hide it. The whole time I was trying not to laugh out loud and was dying. Me and my bestie were dying immediately. Just thought you guys would appreciate the story because I genuinely couldn't believe my eyes. This is someone's mother. No, I love it. She's Anyway, proud. I'll attach pics of my nails in case you ladies oh, yeah, want to see. see. Just a beautiful classic pink. Oh, a gorgeous. Oh, it's good giving, for her. It's giving your nails. Well, they do say in your 40s, that's when- You're going to have the best sex of your life. We're, we're going to be the most sexually I will never forget inclined. when I was, on a, I was on a plane once and I saw a woman sexting. Did you? But I was like- maybe 13 and I wasn't really sure what was happening. That is not safe for your 13 year old eyes. <laughs> so we were coming back from a family holiday. I was sat in the middle, mum was next to me and there was a lady next to me with dark hair. Was Fiona aware? No, because I didn't really understand what I was reading. Mummy, oh, read it. <laughs> so this What's woman, a disco stick? this woman <laughs> next to me was on her phone. And of course I was like looking because who isn't and her husband was sat across the aisle from her right so picture three and three three seats aisle three seats oh so they were Mom, both on the end me stranger stranger dad brother yeah so she was on her phone and i was looking at her phone and she was and she was messaging like oh i can't wait for you to blah blah blah, blah all over my face blah blah blah, blah. and i was like not honestly not really what? not really understand not really knowing like what but i just thought what goes all over the face <laughs> but i just remember seeing it and thinking like no but i don't she wasn't I'm not, sending that to her husband exactly because that's what i was thinking in my small little 13 year old brain and i thought i'm sure that's some Something. sexy talk <laughs> i'm sure it she is she has some dirty dirty talk and then but then i was like hang on though your husband's there and he's not on his phone like he's not messaging you and i and i was like that's actually what's going on and she was like kind of like being secretive with her phone but i thought well i can see your text Mm. and like maybe your husband Mm. i don't know i don't know and i remember at the time not really being able to process it Uh uh but then when uh i looked back a few years later i was like holy shit that woman was literally just (laughs) texting someone else and her husband was right there so i know the feeling one of my greatest fears on the airplane is someone just behind me see watching me watching my my business on my phone me too not that business (laughs) but just you know, my general Stuff. business, you know? Because it's just like, who? The yeah, f- over you your know, shoulder. It, but it's in the gaps. Mm. It's like someone can definitely see in that fucking yeah. gap. Because the babies look through the gaps. Yeah, everyone looks. I look through the gaps. So do I. I look for everyone's gaps, watching them take selfies, all of that. Yeah. It's entertainment. Yeah, it's absolutely it's the entertainment on the plate. Yeah. So look out in the nail shops, guys, when you're getting your Valentine's Day nails. Absolutely. Look out for the sexters among us, hey? Absolutely. Okay, right. First dilemma. Nails wrapped around. Mm. Very 
see. Maybe he was paying for her nails. I reckon so. And it got a bit steamy. He must really like a long talon. You know, and it must do something. Mm. And yeah, he maybe it's quite sent hard, her out though, with to the forty pound whilst you're getting your nails it's done. Really hard because dry hands, it's really dry, hard. dry, dry. Mm. Especially when you get the acrylics on, then you only have one hand a lot of the yeah. time. And then, yeah. especially if she's got the big text, yeah. she'll have to be, yeah. you know, it's actually really hard. I hope she had a good time regardless. Same, I hope she had a cracking time when she got home. So, it's nice to see dilemma. happy families, to be honest. <laughs> Healthy sex lives. No, it really is lovely. Sarah Saracen here has said, my boyfriend's best girl friend, mm. girl space friend, friend tells me she will always be first choice. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I would I would simply pass away. I w- I I wouldn't be able to handle I'm not I, you shouldn't have to be competing for your own boyfriend. No. Right? Imagine that. I would say you're in fucking Delulu land, babes. Wake up. Yeah. Wake the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what planet wow. you're living on, but I'm the one living in the house. I'm yeah. the one with the pet. I'm the, I'm the one that's going to have that last name. I'm the one that's having these kids. I'm the one that sleeps next to him every night. He kisses these lips. <laughs> yeah. I could erase you so fast. Wow. And then she says, well, I'll always be first choice. Remember that. <gasps> and walks off. <sighs> wow. Hey, girls. How, like, how do we get here? How did we yeah, get here? Like, like how, how do we get here where, like, how? Oh, how? it's long. <laughs> I, think she's, I think Sarah's gonna tell us. I really need some help. I this. hope this isn't a case of your boyfriend is like, oh, she's just so nice. No, no it, c- c- cause he needs to, he needs to wake up. He needs to wake up. If, if, if your boyfriend is okay with his best friend speaking to you like this and doesn't feel also, a type of like, way about it, then, we we got we I think we've got to leave we've this situation because this is clearly love between the two of you. <laughs> yeah, and if you do think she's first choice, we've got a big <laughs> fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Even if she was a boy, like you should be your well, boyfriend's even first imagine choice. Your, even imagine your boyfriend saying that his boy best friend was first, first choice, choice over you. Exactly. That no. Is, that is a wild. Wild. And then for it to be a girl. That is wild. The only woman that he could, should, or maybe say, even not. Yes, his mum. Is his mother. And my mum will always come first. Fine, I can take that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but, <laughs> Okay, so how do we get How here? did we get Sarah's here? Sarah's gonna tell us. No pictures though, unfortunately. Oh. But next time, Sarah, it's fine. To give some background. Here she goes, chapter one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chapter fucking one. <laughs> chapter 16. <laughs> Surprise, I'm actually a 60 year old lady and this <laughs> story started when I was 18. Right, to give some background, I've been with my Brian for two months. <gasps> I was not expecting that. Oh, it's uh, new. I was, I was, I was started to say yeah. She's threatened by you, the new girl on the block. Okay, but two months officially, but we have been dating since July. Okay. So July, August, September, October, November, December, January, seven, seven months. Seven months. I've been in his life as number one. Mm. Don't you forget it. Brian has some close friendships with girls who he met whilst living in Liverpool, which does not bother me until now. (laughs) (laughs) Classic. On Saturday, this is recent, on Saturday, I went out in Manchester to celebrate his birthday with some of his friends from home and the girls he's friends with from Liverpool. I did not know anyone. So this is your first rendezvous with all the... Pals. This is your initiation into the group. Which I understand that because you've been official for two months. Yes, yeah, time. Probably about time. Yeah. It's his birthday. birthday. Everyone's going to be yeah, there. Yeah, everyone's going to be gonna there. We're going to have a good time. Oh, she said, let's call the girl best friend, Sarah. So my apologies. This is Susan writing in. Okay. So the girl best friend is Sarah. Sarah bought her family, all girls. Who her are family? All, I'm assuming siblings. Right who were all extremely close and all in the friendship group. Sarah and Susan, my bad, this is Helen, right? (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) 
<laughs> Sarah and Susan, of course, are twins. Right. So Sarah's got a bloody twin. Right. Uh, with an older sister and two cousins. So all the, hell. Fuck, all the girls were out that night. Okay. This is Helen. I'm reminding you. Sarah and Susan are twins. And Sarah's the best friend. Sarah's the best friend. Who lives in? Liverpool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where we... Chapter three. <laughs> Where we were at the first bar, I was introduced to everyone and it seemed like it was all going okay. Mm. I left Brian to talk to everyone because I didn't want to be that needy girlfriend and it was his birthday. Yeah. You know, Susan, the twin, all of a sudden started crying randomly because Brian hadn't spoke to her at all. Oh no. Oh no. That's give that If a girl starts crying because my boyfriend's my boyfriend. not spoke to her, I'm going to say dry your fucking eyes and get a grip. <laughs> because get, that's get not, a grip is right. Get a grip. Get a grip. Get a grip. It's not PM. What are you doing? He's doing the rounds. He'll get to you. He's he's seen you. <laughs> wow. But that's giving like he's She's seeing that he's been kissing you, holding your hand, mm. stroking your leg. But this is the twin, not even the girl. I know. <laughs> they're but but they're twins. They're telepathic. Mm. They're, they're both feeling each other's emotions. They have to feel the same thing. Mm. And did you know if you were to do take a DNA test of one twin yeah. and a DNA tef- test of another twin, you would not be able to tell who's tell who. It would say that they're the same person. Mm. So if we were twins and you committed a crime, you could get done. For I it. could get done because <laughs> your silly, stupid <laughs> actions. <laughs> But fingerprints, everyone's fingerprints are oh, different. Oh, okay. So if you left bl- your blood on the scene, that would test as my blood. Wow. But fingerprint, fun fact of the day. Okay. Every day is a school day. Absolutely. So, so just to reiterate. Yeah. Susan the twin all of a sudden started crying randomly because Brian hadn't spoke to her at all. This ultimately set the day off bad. Mm. And I just felt like there was going to be issues. (laughs) Chapter four. (laughs) I spoke to Brian and asked what was wrong? To which he explained, it's just classic Susan. Well, why are you inviting her Needy. Attention grabbing. It's very interesting actually. But this isn't even the girl that's his best mate. No, it's not. Where are we going with this? That would really, I'd be so concerned in that moment as to what was going on. This is my new boyfriend who I've just fallen in love with. Yeah. I'm meeting all his friends for the first time. I'd be and, very concerned. And a, a female is crying. Because and he says it, be, yeah, because of something menial. <laughs> I'd be thinking there's something going, going on, on that here. I don't know I'd about. I'd say I'm the one who's not in the know here and I yeah. don't like it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because he's just going, classic Susan. Mm. What are we going to do? Take around the corner and snog her and let know everything's going to be okay? Yeah. That's something I don't know. (laughs) I'm in the dark about that. Okay, so me being the nice person I am, Mm -hmm. went up to Susan to see if she was okay. She ignored me and walked off. (gasps) We've got a problem. Code red. Whoa. We've got a problem. Whoa. Wow. But we're all, this is a birthday Nine, nine, nine. Carling, what's your problem? What's your problem? Hello there. Wow. Wow. I'm actually in shock here. I would not be able to handle this. There's because, a lot gone on that you don't you know, know about. It's, it's really, you know, you're the one there who knows no one. Yeah. And you're the one trying to get to know, mm, have good a impression. Like you want to be friends with these people because yeah. they are in your boyf- your new boyfriend's life. Yeah. So it's such a shame that Susan- And you were probably really nervous for this night exactly. as well. Like it's, it can be a bit nerve wracking yeah, meeting people for the first time. thought about it for a long time. What am I going to wear? I hope they like me. I hope yeah. I fit in, you know? And because and you care about your boyfriend. Yeah. So Susan ignored me and walked off. Wow. Chapter five. We then were in the next bar by myself and his friends from his hometown on one table and Sarah and the others on another. They began making comments and isolating themselves from us because Brian wouldn't sit with them. Right. This meant we quickly had to drink our drinks and move on to the next bar. Because you had to be split into two tables. Right. Okay. Because I used to live in Manchester, I suggested the next bar for us to go to, which everyone seemed happy about. Albert Schloss. Albert Schloss, we know it well. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Uh, when we got there, I found a table. I found a table, and the girls all sat on the table without even asking if anyone else wanted a seat. Mm-hmm. I just held my tongue and went to get a drink. Okay. When I came back from getting a drink, I noticed that Susan and Sarah were very hands-on with Brian, constantly trying to cuddle and hold his hand, which instantly just put knots in my stomach. Your gut is telling you what is what going on here. What are these twins fucking doing here? <laughs> <laughs> these twins well, I'd be like what is so what, what? what what's happening here trying to get handsy they're trying to intimidate their you. territory and they're trying to be like this we've known him longer than longer than you've known him like don't forget that like we're, we're friends this is deep like you're never like they're trying to yeah, mark their territory in a scary. weird way and they're trying to make you jealous even though you're his fucking girlfriend and they're just mates from- well they're trying to ruin your night yeah they're trying to ruin your night and yeah. that's very clear yeah and it's it's scary they obviously have some sort of feelings towards they brian obviously they do. don't like the fact that he's got a girlfriend yeah and they're trying to intimidate you yeah Bloody hell. I ended up quickly going to the toilet and had a little cry. Aww. Because I was so overwhelmed and yeah. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Yeah, because it's like... And also in it, that moment... It, where's your boyfriend in that moment who should be caring for you? And also to make it worse, you've not got a friend out on the night that you can right. be like, what the... F-? You don't know who you can trust to be like, what the fuck's going because on Because also there? now it's like, can I even trust my own boyfriend? Because... I'm coming into a situation. Seeing, a whole new set of peer dynamics. You know, I, I, something's going on and he's not even thinking of me in this moment and how, how it's going to make me feel. Mm. And that's a red flag because he should be constantly, wh- where's Helen? Mm. Wh- where's my beautiful girlfriend? Meanwhile, he's entertaining Sarah and Susan. The twins. And getting a bit handsy with the twins. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they were wearing the same bloody outfit as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow okay right let's keep going okay, let's keep going here yeah so you've had a little cry in the toilet i'm so sorry about this in albert schloss of all places because i was so overwhelmed <laughs> Stop. sorry i'm just you know i'm you know as i'm reading it i'm picturing albert schloss so am I. yeah i'm seeing those they've got those so high tables I. and you know the stools and so stuff and a couple booths and it's busy in there it's busy. packed in there like it's like excuse me can i get that yeah excuse me. busy I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. Chapter nine. When I came back, I told Brian that it made me uncomfortable. Good. Good. I'm straight glad away. you struck yeah. straight away. Yeah, let him know, what are you doing? Yeah. I, I, I'm the one here who's got no friend you, and you're making me feel uncomfortable. What is mm. going on? Yeah. To which halfway through me explaining, Sarah was demanding Brian should go talk to her. To which he did. No, mistake number three from Brian. He should have said, Sarah, chill out. Sarah, my, my, I'm, I'm talking, talking to, my, to my girlfriend. She's my priority. Can you just can you just go over there for a sec? He should not have said, girlfriend, shh, Sarah, let's go outside. Hush, hush, Sarah. <sighs> if, my, if he went to talk to Sarah, I would have made sure I was gone, gone. when he came back. Because I'm not dealing with this. No. To start with, (laughs) your twin, Susan, cried one hour into the evening. I went over to console her. She walked walked away away. from me. I got a table. They all took it. I just wanted to have a moment with my boyfriend. Sarah, Brian, Brian, let me talk to you. Oh, Sarah must need me. (laughs) What? Sarah, I'm coming. (gasps) Are you okay? What? She put shock. Yeah, I'm shocked too. Full stop in caps. Later on in the bar, Sarah asked if she could talk to me outside. Oh Fucking hell, what is this? A I say, you know what? We're here to have a good time and party party. Why are you wanting to pull everyone Chats for a fucking outside. chat? We're not on oh, Love Island. To start with, it's bloody January. It's bloody freezing, freezing out here. Freezing out there. God. To start with. People are blowing smoke in my face. I don't want to be out here. Vape smoke. My drink's ready for me. Right. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, so I'm Sarah actually has pulled in shock. you for a chat. Later on in the bar, Sarah asked if she could talk to me outside. I explained God, to her. If you fucking must, Sarah. I'd, <laughs> if you fucking must, we're fucking Ubers on the way. I'm getting out of here. You've ruined my fucking night. <laughs> 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 no, 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 we're not. No, I would. 
<laughs> no, we don't condone and slosh violence. Up. Slosh. <laughs> no, but slosh. Have that. <laughs> Susan's going over. <laughs> Fuck you as well. <laughs> Fuck you all. <laughs> You take your heels off. You just <laughs> lob it at Susan's head. Susan's <laughs> on the floor. Sarah's got vodka in her oh eyes. Oh my God. Okay. <sighs> so Sarah's pulled you for a chat. <laughs> and then the police come and cuff you. <laughs> You're in the back of the fucking police van. What a night. <laughs> Being taken into the police car. Uh, damn it. <laughs> Grabs your bun, fucking shoves you in the police Brian doesn't even know what's happening. <laughs> Brian's still talking to Sarah. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Me. Right. But we haven't got to violence yet. Sarah just has to take you outside for mm. a moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's the miss. You're coming with me. I saw You're that. coming down for a night in the cell. <laughs> night in the slum. Oh, God. You're trapped. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Right. I'm taking a sip. Where's this gonna go? I don't know. I need to sort myself out. Right. So later on in the bar, Sarah asked if she could talk to me outside. I explained to her I wasn't too comfortable with the touching on Brian, to which she responded, that's our friendship. You wouldn't understand. Oh, that was in quotations. You wouldn't understand. understand. No, what you won't understand in a minute is when I smack you around the face. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> wow. When my palm has got your face. <laughs> when my fist. No, no. Oh. We're not violent here. Okay. That's our friendship. You wouldn't understand, Sarah. Wow. Sarah Helen. Wow. Um, during the convers- Trying to patronise yeah, you. Trying to belittle, belittle you, you. Trying to you know, because make you, you feel like yeah. you... Because you were just expressing... She knows your boyfriend better than you do. Yeah, I've got the upper hand. Who are you? You're new, you're new. You don't understand our relationship. It's not for you to understand. This Mm. is our special relationship. Mm. And we hold hands. And we've had sex five times. (laughs) (laughs) Right. During the conversation, Sarah emphasized that me and her were so similar and she knew a lot about me. Thing. You know what you should have said oh, there? Oh, no. Things I only told Brian in confidence. So he's dishing out your business oh, to Sarah and Susan. No, so they no, feel like no, they've got this no. upper hand. Because, of course, Sarah's telling her bloody twin, Susan. So they feel like we know a lot about you. Don't like that. What? You should have said, oh, that's funny because Brian never mentions you. You never come up in our conversations. There we go. Sophia does have the good one-liners. <laughs> well, that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? Wow. Well, I couldn't even get a word in edgeways. Like, where is your boyfriend in this moment? Probably sleeping with his sister. <laughs> Taking Susan round the back. <laughs> Stop. Fucking prick. What a prick. I couldn't even get a word in edgeways. And she was acting like she was Brian's girlfriend. Yeah. And I was someone who didn't even know him. Yeah, Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. To which she turned to me and said, me and Brian are so close. He got me through a lot. I know I'll always be his first priority. It's difficult with Brian. This is all quotes. It's difficult with Brian now being in a relationship because I've always, we've always both been single. So she's just clearly in love with him. She's in love with him then. He got me through a lot. I know I'll always be his first priority. It's difficult with Brian now being in a relationship. I know I'll always, always be, be his first, first priority. priority. But then what Do you about- want to fuck off? But then Susan's crying as well. Yeah, so what about her? So what about her? Or are you two just one? <laughs> <laughs> probably, they're probably sharing him, yeah. I genuinely couldn't believe what I was hearing, but I didn't want to cause a scene, so I kept my mouth shut instead of telling her how I really felt. God, yeah, with a knuckle sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> knuckle sandwich. You're better than us. <laughs> wow. Right. She's digging her claws I in. Can't she knows be- what she's doing. This is an- alcohol f- in- fueled night mm. for sure. Because also, she would have known we're meeting the girlfriend tonight. 
So she came in with that. Intimidation on. She came in with that attitude that you didn't come into the night with. She she was never even going to give you a chance. No. You, you you know, herself and Susan Mm. and her cousins and all her her family, they they were there to intimidate you and to not welcome you in They came in with it. They had a motive, didn't they? They were like, let's push this girl out. Mm. Probably. Let's cause a problem. Let's cause it. They wanted a problem tonight. (sighs) Sarah then went on to say, when I'm seeing someone, Brian doesn't like it. (gasps) Oh my God, I'd be so angry. And when Brian is seeing someone, I don't like it. What? This is, this is not real. What? You fucking weirdo. What are you doing? You're embarrassing yourself. What the hell? Oh my God. It's it's so bizarre. It's so bizarre. I wouldn't be able to handle this. I would not be able this to handle this. So, this is too much. I thought I was celebrating my boy, new, new boyfriend's, boyfriend's birthday. birthday. Here I am. I've got a girl who's clearly in love with him telling me that, oh, what, well, you know, claiming. You'll never understand our relationship. I'll always be number one. When he has a girlfriend, I don't like it. And when I have a boyfriend, he doesn't like it. No, like, no, are you trying no. to make me jealous you're trying to intimidate me you're trying to push me out you're trying to cause a rift in my relationship because you probably know that it's going quite good at the moment yes and you're just trying to yeah you, you've come in with them determined to hate me but it's like and determined to make me miserable but and what, for that you're like cruel. If, if brian loved you so much why aren't you his bloody girlfriend right he's known you long enough yeah I've only been to here the past down, couple of months. But then it's also so disrespectful. If this is, if, if if Sarah's claims are true, this is so disrespectful from Brian to bring you into that situation mm. where there's a girl that he likes or, you, you know, and, yeah. and that, that history. is- history. There's history. That is, and to not warn you even. Yeah. That is so, such a red flag from Brian. It's, it's, it's insane. Yeah. Massive Imagine red bringing flag Imagine being brought into a room- where you think you're just meeting your boyfriend's friends, really, there's all this underlying stuff that no one's told you about. He's not no. warned you. And he's also just brought you into that situation. Really? To, uh, not even considering um, how Sarah might act, how Susan might act, how this might make you feel. Really bad boyfriend move. Really, that. Like a terrible boyfriend move. Like yeah. low key, unforgivable. You need, he needed to give you the heads up there. At least. Uh, at least. But then if he's still got some sort of feelings and attachment towards she Sarah, then- be here. I shouldn't be here. No. And, or, or she shouldn't be here. No. Like it's it's either no contact with me or no contact with her. Like. Mm. Wow. Wow. Okay. Happy birthday. Yeah, literally happy, happy birthday. At this point, I was so done in the conversation. I politely smiled and said, should we go back in? I'm getting a bit cold. 45 minutes that conversation lasted, FYI. Wow. We went back in. I spoke to Brian, to which again, Sarah and Susan called him over and were hugging, kissing him on the cheek. What they're is, just doing everything they can to make you miserable. Is, but also... They're trying, they're trying way too hard to push you out. Literally straight after I told her I wasn't comfortable with the touching. But again, to not cause a scene, I kept my opinions to myself, but gave Brian a concerned look, to which he came over to me straight away and gave me a kiss. Right. I don't know how I feel about this at all. No. This is. We were then walking to the next bar. I've, to, I've, I've, I've got to go. I've I'm got going to now. go. The I, vibes off. I'm so up. I've got to go. I've <laughs> nearly been taken to the police station. I've, I've literally, you know, you know. Luckily, I got away with, you know, mm. the slap and the knuckle sandwich. I didn't get taken to the slammer. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're not walking to the next because bar. also like alcohol only makes these situations so oh, much. I'm sorry, hear this. We were then walking to the next bar, and Brian, give her a Brian didn't have his phone because Sarah had it. What the fuck? What are is you going doing? on? Again, very weird behaviour. I turn around and see Brian going over to Sarah to get it. Sarah slammed Brian's phone into his chest and began having a go at him. <sighs> going on what's go- this is all a show for you though she's she is m- manipulating this whole thing because she knows you're watching one thousand percent yeah and scene 
This is all for you. Yeah, yeah, it, it so is. I couldn't actually believe what I was seeing and had to keep calm. So I stayed out of the way and let them argue. On no planet should your new boyfriend be, be arguing like a jealous fueled argument with another female. No. It's giving lovers. Mm. Wow. wow. They ended up walking off. Sarah, Susan, and the other girls. So myself and Brian and his other friends continued the night. Oh, good, good riddance. riddance. Good bloody riddance. Let's good have a bloody drink. riddance. Well, I'll drink to that. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Milady. 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 Right, yeah. Hey, hey. Right. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. On our way home. Okay, that was it. They walked right. off and they were gone. On our don't way, come back. And don't come back. On our way home, Brian was receiving lots of tech. Oh, fucking fuck hell. Oh, actually, Turn it on silent, would you, babe? Turn it off. I'm chucking it down yeah. in the river. Was receiving lots of texts from Sarah, which he wasn't telling me exactly what was said, but she was angry. About what? To which I then saw she unfollowed me on Instagram. Okay, good riddance. All right. Here, here. My question is. He's going to block you anyway. All right. Right, we're on chapter 15. My question is, after reading all of that, do you think I was an issue for the girls because Brian wasn't just theirs anymore? Do you think I messaged the girl and confront her? I'm 25 and I was just embarrassed of what I was witnessing more than anything. I felt like I was back at school. Yeah. Help. Jesus. There's a lot to unpack here. And there is a lot to unpack I'm here. I'm gonna be... <laughs> My mind's gone blank. What's no, the word I'm looking that, for? Right, right, right. What I'm what what I'm trying to say is that it's too much going you've on. You've only here. known you've only been going out with this boy for two months. Sack it off. Sack it off. You're 25. You don't need he this can't be that great. drama, this hassle. Like, like, like I know a lot of that dilemma, we were focused on how the girl was fucking annoying. But also, like Chintzia said, your boyfriend brought you into that environment. Your boyfriend knew exactly his his relation, past relations. And he with knows how Sarah and Susan friend. can be. He knows how they can be. Alcohol fueled night. And the fact that he A invited all those girls from Liverpool to the night out. It sounds like they were their own group anyway. He didn't A, need to invite them. B, if he was going to invite them, the least he could have done was sat you down before and gone, so I'm inviting these girls. I've known them for a couple of years ago. Just to let you know, that I don't want I don't want there to be any bad vibes, but there, he could have given you a heads up or something. He could have, but I, I think bottom line, he should never have brought you into he that shouldn't. environment. He should as, as a boyfriend especially a new one who loves you, respects you, cares for you, cares about your feelings. Yeah. Doesn't want to hurt you. Doesn't want to see you cry. No. You know, doesn't want to make you uncomfortable. Like a normal boyfriend doesn't want to see their girlfriend upset. or boyfriend upset. Especially at their own actions, uneasy, at their own doing. You know, uh, that's a normal human response. Yeah. Like, like I wouldn't want to you see would Sophia not be sat there in an environment where she's uncomfortable, on edge, tearing up. Like, whoa, we're, we're what's getting, going on? We're getting ourselves out of here. We're what, going. Where the fuck are we? We're getting out of here. Yeah. And like, you wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to bring my new boyfriend into an environment where he's going to feel uncomfortable. No. Get emotional. No. Feel any type of way. So it's really concerning. Yeah. That he knew exactly what was going to happen that night. Mm. I don't think that was any surprise to, to no. Brian. I think he was very used to this kind of stuff. Yeah. And and still thought it was and fine. And he sat with Helen the girls, along. holding hands. Hands, hugging. And then when Sarah, the moment Sarah went, Brian, come here, as he was reconciling you, he, he turned went. his back on you and went straight to Sarah. And then he let Sarah say that stuff to you. Yeah. Where was he? Where was he? He needs to be backing his girlfriend up. Yeah. You know, he needs to be back. He be needed in to your say to corner. Sarah, Sarah, shut the fuck up. You're ruining this night for everyone. I think you should leave. I think you should leave. Because you're making my girlfriend yeah. uncomfortable. I th you know, this is my birthday. I think you and your twin. Yeah. You, you, the moment you got here, you were bad vibes. And this is not what I'm on. You came I, with I, the wrong attitude. You, know, you two were my friends, but I'm, I'm not sure. You, but but the fact that he he's not seeing that. No. And he let it go on too long. Mm. He let it go on too long. You don't need all that you, drama. No, that's really... Because also, like, it adds a whole other issue to your relationship. Because, okay, next time we all going out then, okay, are they coming? Like, you don't want to be in a relationship where there's all this 
like relationships can come with their own problems. You don't need unnecessary no, this is unnecessary. outside drama as well as do you like, know what I mean? That's why it's like the bare minimum is that your boyfriend makes you feel safe, yeah, comfortable, cared for, loved, respected. He did none you of that that felt night. None of that. He did none of that. No. And that's that. That's what we you need to see. Mm. F- regardless, let's about, regardless of Sarah and Susan, they can have him. They, they can have him because he did not show you any kind. He gave you one kiss. Mm. He gave you one kiss. Yeah. Whoa, oh, and let that go on. Fed and let you to that, the wolves. Let that escalate. Esc- fed you to the wolves. Let that escalate and get to that. That. No. That did not need to happen. No, I, I think it shows I think a lot if I, about... I think if I found myself in that situation after being with a guy for two months, I would say, no, sorry, I'm out. Because this Not is, here for this. Because I just know that this Sarah... I'm, I'm not here to be in competition tition. with your female friends. Not at all. I am not here for your female friends to hate me try and bully me, bully isolate me, me, make me feel uncomfortable. I'm not here to compete with these girls for my own boyfriend's attention or whatever. I don't want to feel like we're on a night out as a group. I'm not I'm not trying to be thinking about, oh, my boyfriend needs to be really PDA with me so they all get the message. What? what no, you don't, you shouldn't have to be thinking like that. And I think you've only been together for two months, mm. cut your losses and get out because this is a, this is just this a is messy not, situation that yeah, you don't need. Yeah, and it's need. not a normal male to female friendship. No. It, he, he's not shut anything down. No. He, he, he lets Sarah think that she is the priority. Yeah. She believes it because obviously he said stuff to her or done stuff. And also telling her stuff you've told him in confidence. Oh, I forgot about forgot that. forgot about that. Got, this man's got to go. I'm so sorry. This is not this is not okay you need to try and shift your anger from the girl to Towards, yeah, let's your boyfriend disregard. okay sarah's and followers yeehaw whatever yeah. this this guy he he behaved appallingly mm. this night and this should never have even this shouldn't have ever been a situation that you were ever in no. also even if we were to move forward and he was to apologize mm. This is gonna. This is it. It's gonna be Sarah, a recurring it issue. It is. It's gonna be the, the next issue is gonna be. Oh, we're well, still following Sarah on Instagram. And you liked her picture. Yeah. You know. Oh, and she's then, calling you. Oh, she's DMing, DMing him. Yeah. It. It's not going Unless, to end. The only way it's this gonna is end. gonna work well is if your boyfriend says, "I was disgusted at Sarah's actions on that night out." And my own. Uh, and my own. Yeah. I let it happen. Yeah. Take accountability for one, right. and also like never want to see these these girls People again ever because again. of how they made me feel. Your yeah. new girlfriend. I don't. I can't see that happening. Neither do I, can I. So neither can I. Don't make excuses for him. No, I know it's easier to be angry at the girl because you're not in love with the girl. Mm-hmm. The girl's not you. Your new boyfriend. Yeah, it's easier to put the blame on her. It's and, easier to put the blame on her. Yeah, and kind of excuse Brian. Yeah, but this was also like bigger picture. This was actually all Brian's doing. He set this all up. Yeah, he set it all up. He knew exactly how this was going to go down. Yeah, and he didn't defend you in the moment not at when all. you needed it. He 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 didn't he, back you. What, the moment you were in that toilet alone, he should have been searching for you. Yeah. Right? The moment that you were outside with Sarah for 45 minutes, yeah. knowing what Sarah's like, knowing what he said to Sarah, yeah. knowing what his relationship with Sarah is, mm. he should have been right there. Mm. In asking your corner. Asking Sarah to leave. Asking Sarah to leave, asking her to leave you alone or, or taking you to, or saying, look, Helen, let's go home. This is this is enough now. Yeah. I can see you're in distress. I can see the fucking tear stains on your face. Yeah. See where, like, Clara. Yeah, like where are you when I, this is not, no, this is not how you want to start your relationship. new budding relationship. With drama like this. With drama that feels like school drama yeah. when you're 25. No. You don't need it. No. I, 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 and, and for him to Good just riddance. put you in that situation, I can't believe it. No. I, I can't. No. I, I cannot. You, w- you wouldn't put your family members in, you wouldn't put your siblings in that. You wouldn't put your best friends in a situation no, like but that. But he's put his new girlfriend. But he's put his new girlfriend in a situation like that where you've cried. Good riddance. Whoa, whoa, hold your horses. Hold the horses, guys. Hold the phone. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> you better subscribe. Please. You better subscribe. <laughs> Down the lens. <laughs> This channel will crash and burn if you don't subscribe. I can see a lot more of you watch the video than are subscribed. That's just the stats. And that is rude.
<laughs> so subscribe. Please, it's the button. It's free. Helps us out a lot. <laughs> and it's a good time for everyone involved. Okay? Just push the button. Thank you. Push the button. Let me know. Am I being a terrible sister or is my brother being unreasonable? Go talk. Ooh, family siblings. dynamics. There are three people in this dilemma. Me, Sarah, the love interest, Brian, mm -hmm. and my brother, Steve. Me, Sarah, love interest, and brother. So not a boyfriend, just a love interest. For a bit of background into me, I'm a 32-year-old single woman living and working in London. I have my own flat, cat, and generally, I love my life and I'm very happy. Side note, what was that quote where it was like, there's three people in this marriage? Well, there were always three people in the marriage. That's Diana. Oh, May she rest go. in peace. It just, yeah, it hit well, my brain. Well, there were three people in the marriage. Well, there were three people in this marriage. <laughs> She's not Elvis. <laughs> I'm Austin Butler. Oh, well, there were three people in this marriage. <laughs> and he still talks like that. He does. <laughs> he does. Right, keep going. Yeah, get distracted. Going. The only thing missing is my soulmate. I'm a hopeless romantic who cannot Same. wait to fall in love, get married, have children. I had two serious relationships throughout my 20s, which didn't work out. Mm -hmm. So now, given the experiences I've been through, my age, and the fact I'm very happy and content with my current life, I know exactly what it is that I'm looking for in a partner, and I'm not prepared to settle for anything less. Can't wait to exude this energy when I'm 32. Oh, it's absolutely just um, incredible. If it means I find him even later in life, then so be it. I'm not shy when it comes to dating and approaching guys. I've had 17 love interests last year, ranging from seriousness. Eat light work, <laughs> light work. <laughs> ranging from seriousness, one date wonder to situationships. It's nice. not like I'm not trying. Yeah. So, yeah. so she's at, you're actively dating. You're, like, like, you're not putting, just sat in your flat waiting yeah. for someone to come putting to you. Putting yourself out there. Yeah. You're, you know, you're, you're, you've open. got an active dating life. Yeah. yeah. Open. So now onto the dilemma. Let me take you back to a Christmas Eve. For me, I just love a boozy, you know, at the pub Christmas Eve. But now that I'm a bit older, most of my friends are settled down and tend to spend it with their families mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. Luckily, because I have younger brothers, I was invited to go to the pub with one of them, 25-year-old Steve okay. and all of his friends. Nice. You know, that. that's nice. So Here I arrive are. at the pub and Steve is there, that's her brother, with around 20 friends. All male. And me being the social butterfly that I am, just started chatting away. Absolutely. In particular, I was chatting to one of his friends, Brian, a lot. Sure, we just vibed dashing. really well. The conversation flowed and things did turn a little flirty to the point where Brian asked me if he could take me on a date. Wow. Where is Steve in the moment? Is he is he's he, on the is, other side of the pub? Is the, blood, the, is the blood boiling or is he smiling from ear to ear? I told him that I don't usually date people as young as 25. But right. due to his charm, good looks, and the natural chemistry we seem to have, mm -hmm. I was willing to make an exception. Age is but a number. For a bit of additional context, I do look young for my age. In fact, in the pub, people thought I was the younger sister. Love wow. that for you. When in fact, I'm seven years older than my brother. We can only hope that we're getting ID to, in our 30s. Please. <laughs> the biggest compliment ID of all time. ID me. I'm 37. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, last orders are called at the pub and everyone congregates outside, at which point me and Brian exchange numbers in front of my brother because for me, there was no secret. Of course not. Me and Brian of proceeded to message immediately and our oh. messages are very flirty talking about how we wish we had the opportunity to kiss. You guys. And how we cannot wait to be able to see each other again. Wow. You guys. Fast forward a week and me and Brian are speaking via text constantly and things seem to be going really well. On the 30th Love of this. December, Brian texted me in the morning saying he was going to be out in London with a few people and ask if I want to join. To which I replied that I actually had plans so I wasn't going to be able to. However, my plans that day, which were actually a first date... Wow. Good for you. Love it. Ended pretty badly at around 8 p.m. And I toyed with the idea of going home and was feeling a bit sad mm -hmm. or messaging Brian to see if he was still out, etc., etc. Yeah. Casual little rendezvous. I went for the latter and met Brian, who was out with his friends for a birthday. And oh boy, I'm so glad I did. 
<laughs> oh baby oh baby when you talk we like had, that <laughs> we had such a fun night of flirting dancing chatting kissing which ended in me inviting him back to mine whilst we were Light together work. he told me that steve ah, uh, okay right this is where things are getting serious now. Okay. Whilst we were together, he told me that my brother Steve had told him not to go near me <laughs> after seeing that we exchanged numbers at the pub. But I wasn't allowed to let my little brother tell me not what to do. Not at all. The next Don't day- Don't go near her, bro. The next day, Brian calls me to tell me that he's called Steve to tell him that we have been speaking and that we did see each other last night and Steve was not happy about the situation. Whew, okay. Listen, I appreciate Brian's Your friend's honesty. Honest, the friend's honesty, you yeah. You know, he, he, he's going after something and he's letting Steve know, no, no mm, little bro. Nothing's holding me back, bro. Nothing's holding me back. I'm not going to fuck this up, G. <laughs> you know, I love your sister like she's my own. <gasps> no. <laughs> Not quite, but I'll take care of her. Right, fast forward another week. I had noticed that Steve, her brother, has started to ignore my messages, including not wishing me a happy new year. Wait, so your own brother is now yeah. ignoring you? Yeah. Me and Brian have our official first date where he took me to Flatiron. We went for Steak. drinks afterwards and just had the most wonderful night. Gorge. During our date, I tell him that I think Steve is ignoring me, mm. to which he says that he's ignoring him too. The next day, Brian messages me to tell me that he's asked Steve to clear the air. And mm -hmm. Steve replied saying, I'm getting so confused with Steve, but Steve is the brother. Steve is the brother. Lil bro. Call Lil bro. Lil bro. <laughs> Lil bro replied saying that he does not want to talk to him and thinks he's a terrible friend. As after we exchanged numbers on Christmas Eve, he told me, he told him not to pursue me. Fair enough. Fair enough. Your brother has said, look bro, I've seen you've been chatting tonight. I know you've just met. I know you've swapped numbers, but like, please don't take any further. That's my sister. Please don't take any further. Don't let anything happen from this point. But the chemistry was undeniable. The chemistry was undeniable. Okay. It's giving Ross where he says, I will hunt you down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to Chandler. <laughs> Me and Brian decide to call it quits. Regardless of the fact that we've had a really nice time together up until this point. Of course. And we are both really gutted about it. I messaged my brother to tell him that me and Brian have ended things, but I'd like to understand a little bit more as to why he didn't want us mm. to even explore anything in the first because place. Because also, just side note, it's not like you will have to, it's not like you're in a friendship group no. and you would have to hang out with him after the fact or no. anything. Like, it's like, we can date and then if it works out, brilliant. You know, I will be, yeah. you know, but if not, like, I'm never going to have to, you're I'm never going to have to easily removed room. from Ex this group. Exactly. This is not my group. Group. exactly and then you we don't but, live together it, we don't, right. don't, like we're not in the family home right but then i i do get it he he doesn't want he doesn't want the boys in the friendship group discussing his, his sister, sister in any sexual no. realm and he knows what boy chats like yeah he's obviously and he what he doesn't want you know he doesn't want his, his sister name. in that mix yeah i get it you know if brian was to lose it he's probably scared like if if, if brian was to lose interest mm, or what happens then or, or if if they were out and then brian not that he's going to you know was interested in another yeah. girl it then complicates it's got the potential to be complicated then steve's gonna get angry and think you're seeing my sister how day you know and then yeah. it's messy um okay so she told her brother look we've we've called it quits but i'd like a bit more information as to why you were right. so against it so we met up to speak it all out and i found the whole conversation extremely emotional oh. i never want to upset anyone particularly my younger brother yeah. because i'm very protective of him and i feel like i completely crumbled in the conversation mm -hmm. i didn't get to say half of the things i wanted to and very much listen to him and his points of view, which included him feeling like things were sneaky during that first week of us speaking and seeing each other, which I understand. Mm -hmm. He also said that he didn't feel comfortable with me dating Brian because Brian can be quite open and crude about his relationships, yeah, and didn't want that to be me. Mm -hmm. The next couple of days pass, and even though we have decided to call it quits, me and Brian cannot stop speaking. There is just something that draws us together. I have also been considering Steve's reasons in regards to Brian mm -hmm. being crude. And I would be lying if I said that in the safe space of my closest friends, I was not the same when talking.
talking about my experiences with boys. Mm -hmm. So it honestly didn't really put me off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Steve just doesn't want to hear it. And I would like to think that given my brother and their friends, Brian would be, wouldn't be so open in front of him. You would think so. I decided that I would like to start things up again with Brian. As I said earlier, I'm 32. I know what I'm looking for. I've been in a lot of bad dates, so I did not want to allow something that felt good to pass me by yeah. for reasons that honestly she didn't really agree with. In the interest of there being no secrecy, I voice note Steve, letting him know that I've listened and heard his points. But regardless, I would like to start things up again with Brian. And mm -hmm. I wasn't asking him for permission. I was just letting him know. As your elder. As your elder. Elder, elder who has lived five, many six, years seven more, before you seven more human years mm. on this universe you will listen when i speak okay Absolute so mom. you've you've told him look i appreciate it i hear I you but I'm going for and it. And I did in fact call it off because I, I you know, was yeah. concerned with how you were responding. And But after careful consideration and realizing that I am 32 years old mm. and this is a connection I don't think I can deny mm. after, you know, a year or so of bad dates yeah. and bad connections. Yeah. Um, but then is it a case of it's forbidden fruit for possibly, the two of you? Possibly, possibly. Is that why Brian's so into it because Possibly. it's like this is steve's older sister we he should told me be doing this he told me not to go there mm. you know is is that a part of it could be possibly steve is not happy about my decision and tells me that he could not have been clearer about how he ma it makes him feel but it sounds like i'm going to do what i want to do regardless and then proceeds to ignore me <sighs> In the meantime, me and Brian start things up again and have a really good thing going. We really like each other. He is so much more mature than so many guys I've dated who are my own age. Mm -hmm. And we just seem to be on a level and have a very natural connection and chemistry. Mm -hmm. I messaged my brother last night saying I would really love to see him soon. And he's replied saying he'd love to see me, but also said that he thinks we need to talk. Ooh. But to be honest, I don't want to talk about the situation with him anymore unless it's in a positive way. Mm -hmm. I've heard what he has to say. I've made my decision regardless and respectfully um, to him and to myself mm -hmm. and to Brian. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to talk about it anymore. My question to you is, am I being a really bad sister um, um, for going against my brother's wishes? And should me and Brian end things? Or should I continue based on the fact that I'm a grown ass, a 32 year old woman who can make my own decisions mm -hmm. and do not need protecting? Mm -hmm. And I I really, really, really like Brian, who likes me too. Mm -hmm. Any advice would be appreciated. To add, Steve is currently completely ignoring Brian. And while Brian would like to be on good terms with him, he is very much over trying to get his permission. And he thinks he's being unreasonable, which okay. I agree with. Okay. Confidential pictures attached. Oh, I was just about to ask. Me and Steve. Her and her bro. Oh, you look like twins. Don't they? Thank you. Oh, this is Brian. Oh, look at his uniform. Okay. I think you gave it a lot of careful consideration. <sighs> right? Yeah. I think it like if you were if you just disregarded your brother's thoughts and feelings and opinions, you would have just gone for it straight away and you wouldn't have even broken things off in the moment that you mm. did. You know, I I do sympathize though with the brother. Me too. Because like you can argue your brother, it either way. Your brother clocked it immediately, immediately and stepped in before you'd even sent a text. Before you'd even kissed. Saying to his friend, G, G mate, bro. Mate, bro. Just Bro's leave key. it. Don't go there, please. Mm -hmm. And his mate has gone, nah, sorry, I'm going for it. I, see, I feel, you know, like your brother's been betrayed by his friend there. He has. And he, he made himself very clear from the He made himself clear. So I understand why he's not wanting to speak to Brian. Yes. Because he, he asked Brian. He didn't He, he, he didn't, didn't ask, ask you. you. He asked Brian, you know, don't send that text, essentially. Yeah. 
The yeah. bloody texter. Yeah. And he went, hey, hey. sweet cheeks, how are you? <laughs> Merry <laughs> Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Wish we snogged that night in front of your fucking Let brother. Let me take you out next week. Yeah. Mm. So I do feel sorry for your brother. And I think like most of them, they don't want their sister's name being brought up in, in conversations no, about girls. No. Okay. Likewise, no sisters really want their brother's names mm. coming up in conversations about boys. I should hope not. Right? Mm-hmm. So... But but then moving forward as adults, as, yeah, as, as we're all adults are, here, I would hope that Brian, if he was ever around Steve, not that he's probably going to get the opportunity to be around Steve mm. ever again until your guys' wedding. Yeah. Um, but I would hope that he wouldn't be speaking crudely. Mm. He shouldn't be he about shouldn't be. you in front of, you know, the brother. He, no, he, he, he shouldn't he, be. He, he shouldn't be. And I would hope he wouldn't. Mm. Shouldn't have won. Shouldn't have won. Should have won a colour. So what do you do? So what do you do? I think you're just living your own life. You're following your heart. You've made your choice. You've made your choice. And I support you because yeah. this is your life and you have an undeniable connection. And I also like, you know, you've ha- when you've when you've had a, a, a stream of bad dates, it's right. so exciting I know. when you meet someone who's like, oh my God, I actually want to see you again. Like you go on date, date, right. date. No, 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 right. no, no. And then to have one that's like, right. I'd like to see you again. It's so like, and oh. the energy is matched. Like you yeah. guys, the energy sounds. And it's like hard it's- to like. You don't. It's quite. It's quite hard in dating mm-hmm. to find people who you actually want to see again. A lot oh of people God. you just see once. Yeah. Not a lot of people you see twice, three times, four yeah. times. Or they'll do something you didn't quite like. They'll give you yeah. the ick. You know, you've not had that. So I can see why you don't want to let it go. Yeah, I, I totally um, understand it. And your one hurdle is Mr. Stevie Stevenson. Mm. I mean, the thing is, y- your the longer you guys, you. the longer you guys are together, exactly, the more on side your brother is going to become. So. I think it's just one of those things. It's like, you're it, going to have to see what happens. It doesn't sound nice in the beginning because he doesn't want you to get hurt. He's just protecting you. Yeah. Which is, it's quite nice. Like my brother's trying to protect me. Yeah. You know, he cares about me. He's warned he me. He knows another side of Steve that you don't know right. naturally. Right. But of the, Brian, at sorry. At the end of the day, he's warned you. Yeah. He said what Brian can be like. Yeah. You thought about it. You broke contact for a while. Then you decided, actually, that doesn't actually bother me that much well, yeah. at all. I, I'm going to pursue things. Hey, Steve, I'm going to pursue things with Brian. Just letting you know. Love you. Would mm. love to see you. And he has said, would love to talk. Yeah. So if you can sit down and have a positive conversation, look, say, look, this is, it's been a while now. It's been a couple of months. We're coming mm. up to Fab. You know, every day. Yeah. Um, I, I think appreciate, we've got a really good, genuine I appreciate connection. how this puts you in an uncomfortable position. Yeah. Absolutely. Because, you know, I'm seeing one of your good friends. Yeah. Um, but please appreciate that we have a genuine connection. Yeah. I feel like there's something real here and I would like to explore it. And if it ends in tears, it ends in tears. But for now, I'm Let 32. Let me take on that burden. I'm 32. I'd like to explore it. Yeah. And hopefully it ends in a hug. Okay. You know, good luck. Mm. And see what happens. And we'll see if he's going to be the best man at the wedding or not. Yes. It could be a beautiful friendship blossoming between the two of them. And you could look back and laugh at this one yes. day. Or, or not. Or not. And it'll just be like, <laughs> remember when you date my friends. That's mm. it. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think you're being a bad sister. No, I think he was a bad friend. Yes, personally. I think that's what it was. And you, you did, you took careful consideration. Mm, you did. You know, you didn't just well didn't make a decision on a whim. No, exactly. Okay. Last one. So we've got, we've got here. My flatmate feels like my girlfriend, and this is coming from a Susan. Okay. No, I feel that because it's like, oh, I just wish you were a boy. You know, when you've got a best friend, it's like, I just, I just need the male version of you. Oh, and it's you going. Know what I mean? so, oh, okay. You know I read it, that differently. Oh, really? I read it as in like, I don't know. Like she's getting on my nerves. Oh no, I feel like it's like we're we're we. I feel like we're we're like a couple, uh, but we're not. I wish we were lesbians. Yeah, life would be so much easier. Yeah, if I was just attracted to you, God, life would be so easy. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got right, it. Because we already it. live together. <laughs> yeah, and we're so compatible in our living yeah. space. Yeah, and it's like God, if only you had a penis. Yeah, right. Hey, girls, love the pod so much. Oh, thanks. I followed you since you were falling into the guinea pig cage. Oh, guinea, gu- guinea, guinea pig. pig cage. Classic. Classic. Anyway, I live with one girl with one other girl who I met at uni. Let's call her Susie. We were friends at uni, but never super, super close and never lived together. A year after graduation, we both ended up wanting to move to a new city and thought it'd be a good idea to move in together rather than with a stranger. So you two up 
together and left. Love it. We get on really well, but the frustration I'm having is that sometimes it feels like we're in a relationship. Oh, this is a frustration. Yeah, right. Right. We do one big food shop as it's cheaper huh? than doing separate ones. And we also have quite a small kitchen, so it just works best that way. Mm. This means that we eat most meals together and rely on the other coming home from work on time. <laughs> it's giving to cook together. Yeah, it's yeah. giving. Co- I won't eat without you. Hurry up. Food's getting cold. Yeah. So okay. put the oven on. Are you on your way yeah, home? Yeah. 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 I'll text her or write on the calendar. <laughs> I'll text her (laughs) or write on the calendar in the kitchen if I have other plans so won't be home for dinner yeah Uh, or if I've stayed late you get jealous when she's going out with another friend or she's out with someone else (laughs) or if I've stayed late at the office for example so that she's not sitting around waiting waiting on me (laughs) I love this. For our vegan nugs and baked beans. I love this. She doesn't return this favour. For our favor. lettuce burgers. For our lettuce burgers. She doesn't often return this favour. And I'm oh. often sat waiting around to make dinner with no clue. Just She's sat coming there in, Sat there in candlelight. <laughs> looking at a cold plate of food. Okay, so that's oh. frustrating her though. Right. But she said, like, I just want to eat my bloody dinner. You've not told me you're working late tonight. So you're going to get home and I'm going, why didn't you tell me you were coming home late? <laughs> I've been waiting hours for you. And I could have had my salmon and veg two hours ago at 5.30 when I like to eat. <laughs> right? Oh and, I, and that's literally so true. an argument. So true. It's like, because you didn't communicate to me yeah. what your plans were for the day. It's giving couples. Oh, you saw Helen did you for a drink. Did oh, you? Oh, well, oh. thanks for letting me know. Oh, you had salmon out. Well, I bought salmon yesterday for the two of us. I've been slaving away in this kitchen. You haven't got the decency to call when you're on your way home. Okay, that is actually crazy though. A text, hey, I'm not like, when when she knows that you're, you eat together. Yeah. Won't be home for dinner tonight. <laughs> Very simple communication <laughs> skills. Okay, right. we pay for most, we pay for most things in. In a, I'll get this for you, the next and you get the next one, sister. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, which works well, but I find myself being the more responsible one. For example, buying things like disposable dehumidifiers. <laughs> and mouse traps. A mouse trap. A mouse trap. A mouse A mouse <laughs> that was a mouse, mouse trap. trap. <laughs> what? You got rats? Yeah. So it's like buying a, a dehumidifier. Tra- <laughs> dehumidifier. <laughs> and mouse traps. <laughs> so we live in an old building. Long. Yeah. These no, things happen. Listen, I saw a rat over Christmas in my mum's garden. Yeah. Our old building was full of them. Yes. <laughs> Oh, right. these big cities. Right. Okay. So you're getting frustrated at this. This means. You know, Helen, it wouldn't hurt to buy a mouse trap. You know, once Helen, in a while. it wouldn't hurt if you contributed to this mouse hunting mm. situation. Mouses are cuter than rats, though. That's <laughs> get it out this means i'm constantly spending more for things we need for the flat. yeah so you're, you're buying like you know what it is you're it's on the top of it washing up tablets mm-hmm. laundry detergent mm-hmm. like big packs of that and you're thinking well that's wipes yeah bleach but you only need once every two weeks and that yeah. happens to be your week and yeah. you're thinking hang on a sec i'm always yeah. buying the heavy well shit. you're seeing that the loo rolls low and you're just buying it yeah and she's thinking oh it's magic yeah <laughs> brilliant barry's been <laughs> yeah right so this means I'm constantly spending more for things we need for the flat yeah. that she won't order until I specifically ask her to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's just not on top of the replenishing. Yeah. This means I have to take on the mental load of the upkeep of the flat. Yeah. I'm not her partner. We are mm. flatmates, meaning that this should be... <laughs> Hello. you're right you're right yeah. you're she, getting all the blue i bet you have to take the bins out as well yeah, don't you you're getting yeah, all the blue jobs yeah. she doesn't have any friends outside of work in this city and has made zero effort to make any which makes me feel like i'm responsible for her social life as well oh that's a lot oh uh, so that's yeah that, and that happens with couples right yeah 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 it's like well she, he's got no friends he's now i come feel along. like he has to come along yeah and that's bad because you do need separate lives mm. Um, if I say no to a plan she suggested, I feel so guilty because it means that she just won't go. 
and do that thing she wants to do. Mm. Okay, so she's like, oh, do you want to go to try the Yorkshire burrito at um, Camden Camden Market? You're like, don't fancy that. And she just won't go. She's got no one else to go with. <laughs> oh, that's actually quite sad. It's quite sad. It's quite sad. <laughs> But I understood, but you can't do everything with no, her. No, you're like, not you, her you're responsibility. Not, no, yeah, yeah, she's not your she's responsibility. She's not your responsibility, sorry. She's not your kid, she's yeah. not your child. And she's not your boyfriend. She's not your girlfriend. Oh, yeah. your girlfriend. I feel bad if I don't invite her to plans I have, but honestly, I want to keep my friends separate. Yeah. So we don't become totally codependent. Mm. This is so daft. But what's pushed me over the, <laughs> over the edge, sorry, to write this email is shower gel. <laughs> <laughs> She's used the last of the Sanex, hasn't she? Right. Oh, that we have been buying one shower gel for the flat as we share a bathroom. But for Christmas, I got a really nice refillable, eco-friendly shower gel. Ah, oh, but it was Loxitan. I bought a couple refills in the Boxing Day sales, which weren't cheap, and was excited about treating myself in the shower. Yeah, yeah. In the last few days, the shower gel we had been sharing has run out. Oh, so the communal shower gel that you both... The Sanex has ran that out. That you both paid for has ran out. And I've noticed her using my nice one. Oh, the special one. I'm annoyed because I got that for Christmas and the mm. refills aren't cheap. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that she's assumed she can just use mine. Mm. And I don't really know how to bring it up. <laughs> you're going to have to take it out of the shower every yeah, time. You, yeah, you're going to have to put a child lock on it. Yeah. Uh, basically, I feel like I'm in a relationship with my flatmate because she's so reliant on me and our home lives are quite intertwined. Can I do anything about this? I feel like I'm too old for the living with strangers in a house share phase, mm. but I don't know how long I can live like this. I hate, hate, hate confrontation. So the <clears throat> thought of having to bring this up makes me feel physically sick. Yeah. What's the nicest way I can separate our lives out more without hurting her feelings i started leaving the house more sitting in my room alone more and just cooking dinner and leaving hers in the oven Ooh. all ready to be heated up when she gets in yeah that's that yeah. and i think there's nothing wrong with no. that like if you want to eat your dinner you're allowed to eat it you are really allowed to eat your i guess dinner. that's why like sometimes it is actually easier living with strangers, with strangers. because there's very clear boundaries it's like that's my bread that's your bread. I will bloody know if you've had a slice of my bread. <laughs> yeah. But you also wouldn't touch the well, stranger's bread. Well, yeah, it, it's in separate cupboards, but because you're doing the shared shop- And because you're it's a free your -all. friends, mm. everything is, the, the lines are blurred. Yeah. Like it makes it a bit more, not necessarily complicated, but it's just a different dynamic. And you thought- Because it's like, you probably feel like you can waltz freely into her room. Hey, you okay? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't walk into a, your flatmate's room, your house Who shares you room. Don't know. You would respect their boundaries, their space and their stuff. And their belongings, yeah. But when, you, when you're with your friends, the, the lines are blurred for both yeah. of you. She's just said, I've attached pictures of others as I know you like to see. I'm the shorter of the two of us. <laughs> Brilliant. Got it. Oh. Okay, so this is our lady here, Susan, who's writing in. Oh, girls. <laughs> they look like the best of friends, but I understand this dilemma. <gasps> this is them uh, doing their food shop. Oh, oh What girls. is that? We've got apples. We've got, I think that's some clementines. We've got some lettuce. We've got some Warburton spread. Mm, what else can you see there? Hummus. <laughs> hummus, yeah, it's a pot of hummus. Lovely stuff. Lovely, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you. It's 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 awkward I, 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 I because you don't want to disrupt any sort of vibe that you've got going on. And I do think it's natural, just like when you live with a boyfriend or a girlfriend, everyone kind of finds their roles. You know, and you get and into the rhythm. You get into the rhythm, and like you kind of know, like, well, Brian always takes the bins out, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah, and equal, and you know, you've just become that person out of the two of you that you're like you said you're the more like a responsible one mm -hmm. where you're making sure you've got toilet roll and mm -hmm. you've got this and you've mm -hmm. got the mouse traps and you're maybe taking mm -hmm. the bins out and you're cleaning the fridge out and you're mm -hmm. da, 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 da. like so and 
Yeah, it's tricky. Yeah, and you know, in the beginning, I think it's just been a natural evol- evolution for you because in the beginning, when you move in, it's like, oh, what are we having for dinner tonight? Yes, it's a novelty. What, what, what shall we have? Mm. Well, shall we have? Because we're yeah. living together now, so we can have. Yeah, food so together. shall we do pasta tonight, or should we do salmon tonight? And it's like that, and it was it was like that for a while. Yeah, and then you realize, you know what? You you don't even have the courtesy to let me know that you're not even coming home tonight. <laughs> So I'm going to stop. I'm not going to do that. You know, well, yeah. why, why am I waiting around for you? You know, and then just a little frustrating started to nag. Mouse traps, yeah. humidifiers. Yeah. Then the shower gel just pushed you over, over the, the edge. edge. And little things like that will. will. When you're living with someone, that's Anyone. all it takes mm-hmm. all, to set yeah. you off. Yeah. It takes um, one singular crumb. Yeah. On, on the f- singular crumb. <laughs> And what the you'll f- lose your you'll shit. Lose your shit. Like seriously. Okay, so we're gonna approach this gently. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Because you you like her, you, you know. And then there's just that added layer, isn't there, of the she doesn't have really have a social life. She doesn't yeah. have many friends. You're you're try. You want to do things with her, but also you do want your own mm. life out of the flat. Mm. Okay. So- you almost feel a little bit trapped because yeah. if you're going out on Friday night, it's like, bye, see ya. You kind of feel like you've got to bring her along, along. but you also want to keep, you you enjoy the- having that friendship group and you enjoy this friendship and you don't feel a need to cross, cross them. them. No. But you, you feel, feel like a bit like, oh, she's much. watching me. I feel bad. Like she's only going to be well, at home. Yeah. When it's like, what are your plans tonight? It's yeah. On this big Friday night. She's like, nothing. And you're like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going. But that's not your responsibility. It's exactly. You should. She, she, she can go and make friends at work. She can go and do this. Like, yeah. You're not, you're not her mum. And you, you don't girls, have to hold her hand. You weren't that close before you moved. moved. You, you knew of each other, but you weren't like besties. Yeah. Okay. So I think just approach it. Maybe send a text. So, or what, when you're both out the house? Just say, hey. Um, what do you want to say to her? I think what she do wa- you want to change? I, I, I think she wants to change. I think she wants her to step up a little bit in terms of, just being a bit on it with like the loo roll and the mouse traps, mm. and just like don't use my shower gel. Yeah, that I think I think they're the main things. <laughs> yeah, and 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 you're gonna keep you know living your life, doing yeah. your social life, and it might be awkward. And you've already started that. You know, you've been in your room more. Yeah. She probably already feels that you're kind of detaching a little bit mm. because you do when you live together, everything's heightened, right? Yeah. So like, it's like if you live with a boyfriend and he didn't kiss you that day, you're thinking, what the fuck is going on today? What's happening? You know, so the fact that of an evening you weren't on the sofa with her. Yes, it was you different. Were, you were in your room. She has definitely noticed that because mm. you, you just would. Yeah. So I feel like she's not not expecting something to be said yeah uh, uh, honestly or is it, is we it feel something things. is it something that doesn't need to be said just, but you can just you know don't buy that don't 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 buy something that the flat needs or, or, or maybe, and wait for her to buy it and maybe or, on a, on a week maybe when it's the day to do the the food shop that you do together mm. maybe go on your own the day before and say i've just bought myself some bits this week i don't know if you oh yeah i don't know but if you're really trying to set, draw a line draw a line under this you say oh i t- i went to asda and i i got myself some, some stuff for myself i thought i could put my stuff on the top two shelves of yeah. the fridge and you could put your stuff I there thought, yeah the stuff i just bought for myself i thought i'd just put pop it here and um yeah you can do the, the sh- go shopping on your own this week because i've already bought my stuff Hmm. Uh, right and then it's like yeah i don't know it's hard you have to be delicate you've got to be delicate you're living together you don't want things to go bad and i think the i think the point here is like there's not you know yourself like i could just get on with this and not say anything and i can just deal with it Mm -hmm. and i can just like i'm aware that Mm -hmm. i'm doing a bit more than Mm -hmm. she is but Mm -hmm. i can just i can just get on with Mm -hmm. it Mm -hmm. but and you know that you could go down that route, mm-hmm. but that other route is also calling you. That's like, I'd like to have a, a bit of appreciation. Mm-hmm. I'd like mm-hmm. to say something. Mm-hmm. And it's that like, you're stuck mm-hmm. between like, do I mm-hmm. say something? It's going to be awkward. Like you don't want to mm-hmm. rock the boat. You don't want to disrupt the vibe. Cause mm-hmm. it's delicate when you're in each living space together. Every day you share that bathroom. You share the bathroom. I do think in regards to the shower gel, 
you could say, oh, my, my mum bought me that. That you know, Do you mind if you know you just use the other one once we've bought a new one? Yeah. Um, that's once just my special one. one. Yeah. So no, it, I, just bought, like I just bought these for me. It's like perfume. If someone's spraying your perfume, that's, that's my expensive perfume. You're going to say, oh, I can smell. Do you mind not using my perfume? It's just, mm. you know, that, that, that was my special I one. I, for... I, I bought that for, for myself. Yeah. I smell it on you. Yeah. I can smell it on your jacket. Yeah. So just, I think you could delicately say that. Mm about the shower gel because that's just like another one it's just like oh can you not wear my jeans tomorrow yeah i was gonna wear those today. i was gonna wear those too. or like is that my bra mm. is that my thong <laughs> <laughs> fuck is that my fucking pink lacy thong but yeah. you can do it i mean yeah you know it's uh delicate <sighs> dynamic approach with care and i think she'll be understanding i yeah. do i think she enjoys living with you clearly yeah you guys looked so happy in those pictures doing your food shop could be a lot worse you know you'd rather yeah. have this than a housemate from hell yeah and you're learning every step of the way yeah and it, you know every everyone has challenges when they move in with someone Absolutely. new because everyone has different styles of living everyone likes to do exactly. things in different ways you're not ab abnormal for feeling Getting a little bit irritated by something no That's that everyone gets irritated by whoever yes. they're living with their family yes. their boyfriend their girlfriend their best friend yes their, and anyone like anyone anyone's gonna get annoyed at something so don't feel bad for how you feel just, no just try and approach it and you know because that's what we need to do because you order could send to a live, text live in harmony do you know what you should have sent a text over christmas when you weren't going to see each well, other you for a bit see each other i know but she didn't have the shower gel then she came back from True, christmas and that's what set her off and then replenished it because mm. it wasn't like and she didn't even ask no oh do you mind so, th th that shower gel's run out do you mind if just this time i just use mm. this you know because shouting from the yeah. shower sarah can i use yeah. this quickly i've got no shower yeah gel. it's it, it's they're like she's been using it and she thinks i don't know and i fucking know and i bought that yeah it's that you're gonna have to say something then yeah but you can say it with you kindness can, you can say it with kindness and she'll understand because she she wants you to be comfortable in yeah. the home that you share and i i believe she neither of you want to upset the e balance exactly both of you want to keep a happy she's, dynamic she's gonna her so response, she's just gonna be like oh yeah sorry yeah yeah her response will be thank you for letting me know yeah i know now that you know i'll be on top of it a bit more and i definitely won't use that shower gel and that's completely fine yeah hopefully and i've bought a 20 pack of mouse traps i'll let you know <laughs> and i've put them above in that cupboard i've laid them out everywhere <laughs> and i will dispose of the rodent once it's caught <laughs> and i hope that satisfies you How, uh, i could not deal with a dead mouse <sighs> in a mouse trap no not for me that would it squeal probably oh it's sad it is sad but they're not welcome in the home we're vegetarians <laughs> all right guys okay everybody on a somber note Oh, quite a somber note to leave um, us on. Um, Let's finish with a quote, shall we? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Sophia saved a whole thing of quotes, did you not? I did, but I read them all on Patreon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, let's see if my Pinterest widgets are giving any words oh, yeah. of wisdom today. I love my Pinterest widgets. Like, look at that beautiful picture that just came up on my- Stunning. Look at that. Stunning. Right, I found a thread. Love it. People who are 25 and above. That's us. What's the harshest life lesson you've learned? Okay. Number one, that life can take a loved one at any time. So cher oh, God, sorry, somber. <laughs> Slam the mouse traps all over again. <laughs> so cherish those you love. Make time, family and friends and tell people you love them often. Number two, you have to speak up for yourself. No one else will. Number three. For the last girl. Oh, no. And that. for the girl with Sarah and Susan, the twins. Your friends from high school or college will disappear if you don't make the effort to stay in touch. Yeah, okay. Sometimes the problem is you. Reflection is necessary. You can do everything right and still fail. You can't make someone love you by giving them more of what they already don't appreciate. It's true, you just push them away more. No one is going to save you. You have to save yourself. Wow. That, that goes out to the mouse. <laughs> shout out to the shout, shout out to the mouse fucking run no one's gonna say <laughs> fucking run that mouse save yourself there's 20 sarah's laid out 20 mouse traps you better fucking Remy, run please be careful find a new fucking home mm. they're gonna squish you in that <laughs> shout out shout out 
<laughs> oh dear. That me. poor mouse. Oh, no one down a weird road today. Murder. Um, thank you for listening, guys. Happy Wednesday. If you aren't sick of us and you would like to see us twice a week, you can Crazy. get a bonus episode every single Monday over on Patreon. You can, and we'll see you next Wednesday. Email your dilemmas can... to hello at the yes. bathroom.com. You follow us on Instagram, TikTok. And YouTube, if you've not watched, come watch. The set is looking gorgeous. She's not finished yet. She's not finished, but she's looking pretty nice. Mm, pretty good. And we feel at home in this space. Love you. Love you. See you on Monday or we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye. Bye.